Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar has called on the UK to make further concessions to break the Brexit impasse. With just three weeks to go before Britain's scheduled departure from the EU, Mr Varadkar said it is up to the UK to find a solution to avoid a hard border on the island of Ireland. Well, this view is backed up by EU chiefs who have said they are ready to work through the weekend ahead of key votes on the deal in the British Parliament next week. But with few visible signs of progress between Brussels and London, UK Prime Minister Theresa May is expected to urge EU leaders today to help her get her deal through the Commons. Well, we're joined now by Shona Murray, who is live for us in London. Shona, can you tell us uh, what's the latest on these negotiations? Well, Isabella, unfortunately, the deadlock still remains. Um, I'm here in Dublin, just outside the Irish Parliament, where there'll be a cabinet briefing today. Uh, but I've been speaking to sources in London, in Dublin, and also in Brussels over the past few days and pretty much all week. And the impasse has remained. Essentially, all sides have been trying to work out, as we know, diplomatic and legally binding language for the UK to see that it won't be trapped within the EU's customs union indefinitely by signing up to the backstop. Now, the backstop as we know, is the legal uh, assurance policy to make sure that there's no borders ever erected on the island of Ireland. Um, essentially, it means that Northern Ireland would continue with the EU's rules and regulations if the two sides weren't, be, weren't able to come up with a trade deal strong enough to keep the status quo ante. Geoffrey Cox, the British legal advisor, uh, Attorney General, has been in Brussels all week trying to get this language out. Uh, essentially, what they've been focusing on is this um, arbitration method, independent arbitration method, which means that both sides could uh, formally decide when to remove the UK from the backstop scenario should it ever apply. And unfortunately, that legal language has not been able to materialise. In the meantime, here on the island of Ireland, you had David Sterling, who's the Northern Irish most senior civil service and servant, and he talked about dire consequences for uh, Northern Ireland if there is a no-deal scenario. So everyone's working on the basis to prevent that. But as we know, we're getting to another level of brinkmanship when it comes to Brexit because that crucial vote taking place next week on the 12th of March and after that the UK due to leave the European Union on the 29th of March and still no end in sight for these diplomatic talks unfortunately Isabel.